I have book mail. Let's open up and see what we've got. So this is the Evernight box. It's the Loom Crate Horror box. So without showing you my address. So we like a little fright for my night. So this is the... Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, that's not the light, that's the actual card. So this is the... The Evernight for April 2024, and it has the detail of the book and the blurb on the back. But I can already see it. We like the wrap. Get the box here, box here, books here in one piece. Ooh. So this is the book Murder Road by Simone St. James, and I haven't actually ever had a book that has. I'm just looking at my Stephen King thing because I'm not sure I've had, ever had a book with this kind of um, artwork on it before, but it's it's really nice, vibrant. I really like the art style. For some, it's not my usual art style of liking, but I actually like this. But. Spread edges. Look at these spread edges. I mean, just I'm a sucker for a spread edge. As are most most book top booktube reviewers, the spread edge is everything. So the blurb for this book is July nineteen ninety five. April and Eddie have taken a wrong turn. They're looking for the small resort town where they plan to spend their honeymoon. When they spot what appears to be a lone hitchhiker along the deserted road, they stop to help. But not long after the hitchhiker gets into their car, they see the blood seeping from her jacket and a truck barreling down Atticus Line after them. When the hitchhiker dies at the local hospital, April and Eddie find themselves in the crosshairs of the Cold Lake Falls Police. Unexplained murders have been happening along Atticus Line for years, and the cops finally have two witnesses who easily become their only suspects. As April and Eddie start to dig into the history of the town and that horrible stretch of road to clear their names, they soon learn that there is something supernatural at work. Something that could not only tear the town and its dark secrets apart, but take April and Eddie down with it all. It sounds something like a Stephen King film book. I'm probably going to be disappointed because it won't be, but it reads like... The maps on the book! The maps on... I'm sorry. The maps on the book! <laughs> oh, look at it. The map is on the book. Oh my god. I love that so much. It's inside. And the artwork is just like more of the same from the front cover. In terms of art style. Just sort of snapshots. Is there a map on... Tell me that there isn't a map on the inside. And this one has been signed. This is one of the signed exclusive editions from the... And no, the map is the hard, naked hardcover. I love that so much. I've never actually seen that before. I say that I love maps on books, but I, I never go and look at them when I'm reading. So yeah, this will go on my bookcase, probably to be read in next year or this year or... It does sound really interesting. And the story is giving me Stephen King vibes in Maine, especially with the front cover. I'm getting, I'm getting Christine vibes from this. And there's something wrong about that hitchhiker, I'm just, I'm just saying. They're a bit dodgy. But yeah, this is the Illumicrate Evernight book. I am looking forward to reading it. It will go on my TBR to be read at some point. I'm not very good with my TBR. I keep adding to it and not taking anything off of it. 